guess it's A-OK. -okay. What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here from TICGN.com. And welcome to episode 45? 45? This is 45 mm -hmm. of the WSP Podcast. And uh, once again, we are missing the young man, Nicodemus X, but he will be back shortly. Uh, Black Panther got him in his feelings because there was not enough light skin representation. So he mad at us by not coming to the podcast. But we're going to start with my right hand, one man who's on camera, uh -oh. Miss 2v1 herself, uh -oh. Mama C. Oh my gosh. Hey, y'all. This is Mama Cita and, um, from Classic Gamer Girls. And uh, I don't know how fame managed to get me on camera, y'all. I don't know. What you Hello. do? What tricks? What <laughs> tricks did you do? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm it's glad to be back. We don't have the whole team here missing Nicodemus, but but we got some new kids on the block, so it's all good. And that, that place at the full logo you guys see that that's Nick. He's just he somewhere hiding behind his PlayStation. Uh next <laughs> up, Crunk Girl was Hadn. What's going on everybody? Y'all already know who it is. It's your favorite gamer girl, Crunk Girl 711, back at it again. Hopefully I'll be able to talk. <laughs> My mouth won't stop uh stop hurting. I got a cavity, so I might go on mute or whatever, but hopefully this IB Pro for kick in for you, girl. Um mm -hmm. shouts out to everybody. Shouts out to the guest we got today and we'll say who it is, but shouts out to my homie. Um appreciate y'all for coming through, watching us or whatever. And yeah, let's get it. Next up we got the man who's gonna drop at least one pun every podcast. My man Dallas, what's good, brother? <laughs> what's happening? What's popping? What's cracking? What's good? Ooh, with that low microphone. Low, bro. What happened? You low, I have moved, though. No, we can't hear you. This? How about now? Better. No. Better. You That's so okay. At one time, you were live. What happened? Like, I don't know. Ain't nothing changed since. Yeah, I'm bro. trying to uh, speak up. I'm trying to speak directly Put your mouth right into the microphone. The mic. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, we got this man, Demi, who was a reviewer on the website. He has his own channel, and he gets to stay up past nine with his parents' permission. That guy, Demi. Demi got reviews. What's good, my brother? <laughs> this man fame with jokes, man. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Glad to be a part of the show. I feel good. I'm playing my Vita right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm here to talk about some games. All right, now you guys can see this, right. this will be our 2018 PlayStation prediction show. I didn't want to do it right to begin of the year for Cup for the main reason is uh, we can get a better feel for for what is possible, what's not possible as the year goes along. Uh, now that we're getting ready to hit March, I think this is the perfect time for it, okay? Ooh, like World War Three going on in my house right now. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so before we get started on those predictions, I'm going to go around the room and ask everybody what they have been playing. So, Ma, what you been playing lately, love? Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, the last game I played, which I saw to you a couple of, couple of days ago, because I kind of been had a lot of stuff going on, uh, the Assassin's Creed update, you know, they had the Discovery Tour. So I, I went through that, and, um, oh, my gosh, it's like perfect, a perfect teaching uh, platform to be honest, um, but um, that's about it. I kind of been off the grid a little bit, y'all. I was on vacation and kind of had a lot of things going on with work and stuff. So, um, but that discovery tour is legit. I mean, there's no um, no enemies, and you know you don't fight or anything when you explore the world. You can just actually explore the world, and they actually it's like a, a instructional guide to like the different areas. I was completely flabbergasted by it all, to be honest, because I wasn't expecting it to be as good and laid out as well, as, as good as it is. So it's good, good to see. And I'm looking forward to the next update, March the 6th. Okay, okay, Dallas, what have you been playing, bro? Um, In a few moments I've been able to steal. Um, I haven't really, had a chance to play a whole lot, but thank God for the Switch. Um, Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2. Mm -hmm. I actually got to play through Bayonetta. I didn't get a chance to uh, play it when it came out. I bought it on uh, PS3 a while back then when it was announced for uh, Switch. I was like, you know what? We'll get the PS3 version. We'll see what's up. Uh, I need some more good Switch games anyway. And I've been 
on it. It's been, definitely been scratching that devil may cry itch for me. Okay, okay. So you you paying hundred twenty dollars for old games? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Demi, what you been playing, bro? You taking shots? <laughs> What's the last uh, PS three game you paid full price for? PS three. Oh damn. Exactly. You said you bought you said you bought some games on Switch, right? Is that what I heard? Yeah, it's not one hundred twenty dollars. Bayonetta. I bought Bayonetta two, and the first one came as a download. Oh, okay. So how much you pay? Uh, sixty. Too much, Demi. What you been playing, bro? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, I've been playing a lot of NBA Live this week. How uh, is that? I'm... How is how is NBA Live? I heard that's trash. I've been playing that too. So. Not, not really. It's uh, it's arcadey. It, it doesn't trash. take itself serious, but it, it's fine for the most part. Franchise it's, mode is trash. Go get on the yeah, court. Yeah, the league did. stuff is Three. terrible. Yeah. That part is fun. But the street stuff is fun. I've been playing that. I went back to Final Fantasy 15. Uh, I'm on the third palace. I'm on something five. I'm playing Grand Kingdom. Playing it right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got a couple more, but my list is just way too long. So. Okay. That's, that's really what I've been playing. Now, Krunga, I know you've been on your higher edge of stuff, but what you been playing, love? She gone. No, I'm not. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I, had sit, I had to sit down correctly. Uh, what have I been playing? Yeah, like you said, like my, my schedule changed, so I don't really have time to just deep dive into these games like I used to. But um, my library, like this, this is crazy. My library at my college lets you rent games. I had no clue about this. Oh. I, I went in the library one day and saw PS4 and Xbox, PS3 and 360 games. I'm like, what the hell? And I asked the, the librarian, I'm like, can we rent those? She was like, yeah. She was, I was like, you you for sure? She was like, yeah, you rent them like you rent a book. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so I rented a, <laughs> I rented Destiny 2 and um, Rainbow Six Siege. So that's what I've been playing mostly. Uh, that I beat the Destiny 2 uh, storyline. Um, and I got the level 20 on there, so I've been grinding. I, I think I'm almost 250 light, almost. I remember um, Destiny 2. I remember Destiny 2. I remember those Yeah, RIP. I had fun with it. Like, I, I'm late now. Y'all done played it and then pushed it to the side, but hey, I hadn't played it. So I've been playing that. Of course, I've been playing my Madden and my 2Ks a little bit uh, when I can get it in. And, uh, I've been playing Grand Kingdom. I thought Grand Kingdom was dope. Um, PlayStation Plus uh, game. I to play uh, it. I like I like Grand Kingdom. Different. Uh, I never played a game like it. And uh, Dark, I'm almost done with Dark Sides too. I'm trying to beat that game, but it's so time consuming to get through those puzzles. I have to play that game in sections since I don't have the time to beat it like I like I really want to. Mm-hmm. And I think since I'm on spring break next week, I'm going to start Ryan and I may start DSX, uh, Mankind. So. Okay, okay. Another twash game. But, uh. Shut <laughs> sure. up. Get hey, you. Hey, I'm just saying. So, uh, you got, like I said before, this is our, our uh, prediction show. I do have one topic, but that topic will be held until after the predictions, okay? So, uh. I guess really quick, what I've been playing, uh, you guys know I went and bought a PSVR. And I am in love with PSVR. Uh, VR World is amazing. London Heist on there is, is uh, by far one of the best experiences I've had uh, on the VR. Uh, but it's actually really, really dope. I uh, ended up getting it for like a buck because I had a whole bunch of stuff. I had a whole bunch of extra controllers, standard controllers. I don't care about, I don't care about standard controllers. I don't. I had a bunch of them. Uh, I'm all about the limited edition and special edition controllers. So I keep those standard controllers get rid of. Single player games I get rid of. And I paying a dollar. Because uh, I had a whole bunch of uh, trade-in credit and stuff. So I actually, I actually made out pretty good. So we're playing PSVR and uh, Agents of Mayhem. Which is a little, ain't as much trash as I thought it was. It's giving me that little bit of a crackdown itch. And it's just running around and blowing stuff up. And just having mindless fun. I'm really enjoying Agents of Mayhem. Plus, it got that good old uh, Xbox One X enhancement, so I am enjoying that. Can you barely have fun with Agents of Mayhem, though, though, without co-op? 
Can you can you do what? Really have fun. That's not co op, is it? No, it's not co op. No, it's not co op. Yeah, it's not co op. I've been having so, fun just being reckless with stuff, and you can shoot people with no consequences. So I'm, 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 I'm having fun. Uh, people with the PlayStation Plus, I'm not PlayStation Plus, uh, PlayStation uh, VR, um, saying that that Bravo team that it should be pretty good. Yeah, and it's another it one at, called Blood and Blood and something that's supposed to be coming out. Cause I I put a post to say, yo, I wish uh, London Heist was a lot longer because it's really short. You know, it's in VR world, and it's a game that everybody was telling me about mm-hmm. called Blood and something that's supposed to be coming out pretty soon. So I'm looking forward to that. But the VR, yeah, we though, I saw. That. That that Bravo team looks really dope because we seen that at PSX. That that joint looks hot, and it's it's co op, so you play with other people. All right, shout out to to the eleven people mm-hmm. watching, man. Make sure you guys hit that like button, share it out. We're about to get the podcast really rolling now, so we're gonna start with these predictions. And yes, we'll be doing an Xbox prediction show uh, soon as well, but we're gonna start with PlayStation. So. I guess it's only fair, man, that we let the PlayStation heads get a prediction first. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, they should have the best ones. I guess. The most legit ones. I would I would think. So uh Crunk Girl, we need five. Five PlayStation Ooh. 2018 predictions. Alright, so I've been I've been checking out what Sony been doing, and um, I I I don't know why, but I got a feeling that they still aren't done with this portable shit, and we still gonna get a Vita too. I don't know why. I'm telling I we gonna get one, dog, because they already put out a a, a what you a patent for it. There was a patent that came out like a last sometime last year, and I don't think Sony's giving up yet. Because I don't think the Vita should have failed. Sony let it fail. And now that they got this PS4 and they got all this hype, I sometimes think to myself, what would have happened if they would have waited and dropped the Vita with the PS4? How would it be doing right now? And would they be would they be excited to push it more since they're coming out with a whole bunch of content and they're doing better with PS4? Like, How would it survive in this climate? So I, that's my prediction. I still think they're going to they gonna say something about a Vita, too. I hope they do, because I enjoy my Vita. I ain't going to front like The Vita is dope. I think I can download really movies fun. on that joint and, and not have to, like, have it connected to anything. The games were pretty fun, um, like Gravity Rush and stuff like that. So that's my first prediction. I'm still I'm sticking with that. Okay, um, okay. Second prediction, I think we're going to get something like we did last year with a Shadow of the Colossus. They're going to bring back something old. It was it was Crash one year, and then it was Shadow of the Colossus the next. I'm thinking we may see Final Fantasy this year. Um, that may drop, may either drop this year or may they may show something from it this year. Um I'm not sure because we haven't seen anything from Final Fantasy uh, 7 remake since they showed it at PSX when they showed gameplay. Mm-hmm. It's been, they've been mad quiet. So Square 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 Enix has been extremely quiet. We ain't heard nothing. So I think we gonna get something new from them this year. Um, I had another one, but she, but the. the I'm so upset that Dual Shockers put up a, a post about it because I was thinking that they was going to do this, that uh, Activision and Sony is going to partner up again and bring back another old IP like Spyro. I had been calling that for years that Spyro was going to come back. Um, I just believe like if they they was putting Crash out there just to test the waters, you know what I'm saying, just to see how people would react to, to a, a a version of Crash that's kind of different. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, they, they're gonna, they're, they're doing it for a reason. Cause you know, at, how long Activision been sitting on Crash and they did nothing with it, and all of a sudden now they just want to come out with something. So I'm like, they, they doing something for a reason. They're testing waters, and maybe we'll, we'll get a new, you know, what I'm saying maybe a spot, a new Spyro, not like no old Spyro, maybe a new Spyro. Um, at E3 this year. Um, for another thing that. 
Sony hasn't said anything about oh, since I think twenty thirteen. You are number three or four. Said all five, right? Yeah. I, 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 I well, that was are you on that was two. Okay, so you're on three. Okay. No, that was that was that was no, that was three. That was three. Okay. I said they bring, no, they're gonna bring back Spyro. I said do a shocker took my story because they posted it like on the twenty seventh, and I had that in my head that Spyro gonna come back. Then I said the Vita two, and then I said they're gonna bring back something. It's not gonna be like a Spyro. It's gonna be something completely different from the ground up, like they did with Shadow of the Colossus and Crash Bandicoot from last year. That's three. Um, or I still with all I don't know if y'all remember this in 2013 when they showed um the PS4 when they revealed it where you could see like your friends uh like even like video chat or whatever and like I still think they working on that man I don't know why we ain't seen nothing from it since 2013 we had video chat on the PS3. But it wasn't. It was kind of like it was kind of like Google Hangout in a sense, but it wasn't as good. And I was always wondering, like, why they didn't bring it over to the PS4? Because I actually liked it, the the video chat for the PS3, since we didn't have a uh, game chat, voice chat, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that they bring that back. And because the way they had it set up was when they were uh when you were game not what was it uh not game sharing, but when you were uh, sharing games like whatever, and you could see the person's picture. While you were while you were switching controllers, playing each other's games or whatever, I thought that was kind of dope. Um, and then that would work well also with uh, streaming. Like we y'all, I think because uh, I think Mixer's already doing it where you can stream with four people. Cold I'm like, yo, why yep. PlayStation can't do that? Yeah, I think that's really dope. You know what I'm saying? And the fifth one, I don't know, man. I I, I don't know who. I, I don't I don't. I, the fifth one's kind of hard. I, I want to say that Spider Man is going to drop right after E3. I think they're going to do summertime. I think that we're going to get a date in maybe the next, what is it, March? I'm going to say maybe May we're going to get a release date. Because they were bull jiving around at PSX and we didn't get no release dates for nothing. And I had a feeling that they probably, I think they had that God of War. On release date for a long ass time, and they just didn't want to put it out. Um, so another prediction is Spider Man is dropping this year, and it's dropping in the summertime after E3. So that's that. five. Okay, 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 okay. You, 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 you we're not in the middle. You can play it too safe. You have some stuff that I like. That I like it. I like that. Uh, down no, I'm trying to, play I'm trying no, to have I'm stuff you, that I want. You didn't play it. Safe. <laughs> you kept it right there in the middle. You had some stuff that was. You can, you know, maybe yeah, stuff that was kind of like the Spider Man thing. I, I, I believe that too. So, I like that. I like that. But uh, Dallas, you good? Something coming, man. At E three with Spider Man, they have no choice. Dallas, we have you. One more time, Dallas, you good? Come nope. on, Dallas. We ain't got Dallas. Uh, all, right, all right, Demi. Demi. Demi, we need five. Oh my no! God. Oh Demi. no! Demi, go. Uh-oh, what's going on? What is on? going on? And what's Didn't crazy is inside the, uh, on the uh, podcast, people looking at the screen, they can't see what we see, the folks, that we losing folks somehow. Oh, wait a minute, we got Demi back. Oh, no. <laughs> as soon as you said his name, he looked. <laughs> I had a phone call, my bad. Okay, uh -oh. all right, Demi. Uh -oh. We lost Dallas, so it's on you, man. We need five predictions, sir. Five? We need okay. Five, okay. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna go down backwards because that's how cool I am. Oh, okay. Number five, we're, we're gonna get medieval right after E3. I'm calling that first. That's gonna be our first pick. I love medieval. I, Ooh, that's my one of my. Um, <laughs> I like medieval, so uh, that'll be dope. I think we lost him again. Right. Nah, you ain't losing. Okay. You ain't losing. I'm sure. Alright. Uh, let's see. We're not done with the Vita. I don't think we're going to get another one. But I will say we're going to get Vita games playable on PS4. Because mm. it just doesn't. Another iteration? 
but we we gonna get games. It's right? like Vita TV via PS4. Oh, I think that'll happen. That's interesting. That would be that would be, that would be, that would be sweet. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get the occasional release date. We're gonna see the release date for Days Gone and Detroit and Spider Man at the same time. Play uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said uh, you said when they say that that that's on the game. We'll get I what? Said we're gonna see the release dates for Days Gone, Spider Man, and Detroit. Okay, okay. And uh, number two, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ghost of, Tush- Ghost of Tsushima release date this year. I'm calling it. Oh, we're oh, we making a release date, or it's coming out. It's coming out this year. I was coming out this year. I think it's coming out this year. Oh, I don't know no. about all that. Well, nah. Okay. That's your prediction. That's good. I, I think... can respect it. <laughs> I don't know about all right, that. All right, y'all, relax. Yeah. Relax. And uh, one more Death Stranding trailer. <laughs> Without We're not any babies. Talk about Death Stranding on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no umbilical cords and no babies, y'all. Yo, I think they further along with their game than we think. Yeah, yeah I think I they are. Think so a lot further along than we think. Oh, Dallas, children. welcome back. Yeah, my, I'm having connection issues, but I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to hold on by the umbilical cord. <laughs> but oh, you sound better, yeah. though. You sound better. Okay, Demi, I like that. I like that, Demi. Uh, that that Vita TV like? one is, like, the most positive one I think that's really going to happen. I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Except for that, except for that, uh, what's thing coming out this year? That um, yeah, that Ghost, Ghost of Shishima now. Yeah, I think we gonna get Ghost of Shishima and Last of Us next year. We don't know about no this year, this year pack. <laughs> All right, Dallas, All right. if you there and you alive, give me five. All right, let me see. Um, now this is the thing I suck at uh, predictions. I can or a video game. I can pretty much ooh, tell you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, that was so pain. No, you Which is Come crazy because I actually get to play them. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Okay. What? I mean, most of the things that I, I that I think of um, as it pertains to video games are fairly cynical. Um, for example, like I agree with what Demi said. We more we probably will get beat evil just after E3. Um, but I also predict nobody will care. Facts. Um but I do think I do think that they might talk about uh, Spyro. I've been seeing that one coming for a long time. I do think we might end up. Um, I think they'll end up announcing. We, well, well you know, we ain't number, sir. So Spyro is one. Or my um. Oh no, Mid- medieval coming out. Nobody cares. Medieval was one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, medieval the Spyro thing is pretty much in the same breath, but we we can call it a different way. Um, also. About the uh, Vita thing, Demi said, I, I, I think that we'll be seeing Vita games, but I think it'll be something dumb, like they'll be added to PlayStation now. I hope not. Yeah, I, me too. But I, they I need to bring PlayStation now and PlayStation Plus and put them together, just to get rid of V, uh, the PS3 and the Vita games. Now that would be dope. I would love it if they just anybody with a Plus membership automatically gets access to their library. I at that point they can just um periodically add a game or so to the library and I'd be fine with that. Um but then we probably lose all those good triple A's we've been getting uh lately. So uh, I'm on, I'm on the fence about whether or not that's a good thing. But I all see triple A's ain't good triple A's. I could see it happening. It's better than complaining about indie games all the time. <clears throat> no, nah, at least some at least some at least some indie games with new games. You're right. I'm just saying, dudes was complaining. Oh, nobody will to play that. Like, bruh. You playing, you're playing games like Fury. Fury was a good game. Why are you complaining? That game was all right. <laughs> are you got anything else, Dallas? I ain't my player hater, man. Did we lose Dallas again? It's like a delay. Oh um, no, Dallas. Now, uh, uh-uh. next up, we do got Mob, but before Mob goes, I want you guys who are watching, whether it's live or watching it, whenever, put your predictions in the chat. Give us five. If you got five, give us five. If you got one, give us one. 
But give us your predictions. Let us see, though, if we want to. I know Baltimore's MVP, as I already said, Vita 2 is happening. Definitely. Book it. He got $1,000 on it, is what he's saying. So, uh, Keep telling y'all, man. They're not giving up on the Vita TV. They Vita. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. Mama Sita, where you been? Been okay. trying to reach her. We need five. Okay, you know what, though? Let me get this out the way. I think my predictions are really whack. First, let me say. They are, like, they are, they are so great. I had, you know, I'm like, and first of all, my, my, my first prediction is actually going to be that I'm actually going to play on my PlayStation this year more than I did last year because I really wasn't on it very much. But um, I think there are some games that are going to be really calling my name this year. Uh, with that, being said, I do believe, though, that two of the AAA games that where release dates will be announced this year are actually going to be delayed to next year. All right. So whether it's Days Gone or Detroit or Spider-Man, I don't know which ones. I just have a feeling that at least two of them are going to be delayed to next year. They're going to get a release date, but then they're going to get pushed back. Because, you know, that's kind of how it goes. I also believe, prediction number two, that God of War is going to pull the Uncharted 4 and get delayed for a couple of weeks. Oh. Yeah, I do. Oh, They're going to pull pull Uncharted 4. God of War ain't went gold yet, so that's plausible. Yeah, yeah. And, um, all right. So my third prediction is, I believe that Sony is actually going to announce a game as a service multiplayer focus exclusive. They need one. <laughs> yeah. They haven't brought one out yet. We'll see, though. They tried well, last year. You generation. know, I hate. Hey, oh, why not? You tripping. These ain't whack. These ain't whack. Mama, I'm tripping. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I, keep, I, I keep thinking that they're going to bring resistance back. And, and, and if they do, Resistance mm-hmm. had a banging multiplayer, but they killed it. The third one was so trash. I don't know what happened. If they, if they, if Sony does need a multiplayer game, so I'm down with that. If that does happen, mm-hmm. that's not yo yo joint. But, 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 but what about Killzone? <laughs> I, I think Killzone dead, yo. I think they they done moved on. Get these good ass <laughs> predictions coming, man. You tripping? What else you got? All right, okay, all right, all right. Wait, all right. Here goes the black one. PlayStation VR is going to get a 1.5 or 2.0 update. That's going to be a PlayStation VR 2 or at least a 1.5. I'm, I'm just thinking they're going to do that this year. And um, all right, so go ahead. Say that one was whack. Would you How go further? <laughs> what you mean? Like, well, you know, a, 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 a second generation or or one or maybe one point five update. There's going to be oh, some okay. That's what you mean. Okay, generation to PlayStation VR. Yeah, I think hey, it's about time. Like I know, I know. Why do you think they dropped the dropped the price on them like the way they did? Uh huh. They anticipate I, I think something. That's, that's plausible because you know once you come out with one iteration, you know those were guinea pigs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so it's about time. Uh, it's about time. Possible. All right. All right, my final prediction. PSN would go down twice as much as <laughs> last year. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, you're trolling. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> oh, especially when PUBG drops on it, though. <laughs> Savage. Savage. I had to throw that in. I had to let the inner. What nick at when you need it? Somewhere oh, no. Nicodemus X is crying, holding his pony, my little pony doll. Guaranteed. <laughs> well, I thought you was driving this, man. Where is Nick? When I, you I need came it? back. Like, I <laughs> popped back in here from the fifth dimension where I keep. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. <laughs> and, like, and I'm thinking, you, I thought you was a much better person than this. <laughs> wait a minute, she, I'm, 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 I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm sorry to comment. Is it Chief Tommy? He said, who the hell is it at the bottom right? Yeah. Dude is a, con- dude is a console. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That's Nicodemus place. That's Nick. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> Nick. Oh, my so God. No, I forgot. My PlayStation brother, bro- brother. Oh, oh, my that's, God. That's it. Let's break out these PlayStation predictions. 
All right, y'all ready? I heard some good ones. Mama talking about they whack. Yeah. Those ones. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought they was whack. The most likely of any of us can say. I'm also clearing one. I want that. Shoot, that ain't whack. All right. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> y'all ready? All right. My first one is that Trash. the PS. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> the PS4 Pro. <laughs> We'll get a permanent price reduction to two ninety nine. Ooh. And the PSVR will get a permanent price reduction to one ninety nine before the year is over. Both of those before the year is over. PS4 Pro two ninety nine. PSVR one ninety nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. By E three or November. By the, by the end of the year. What you think? By, the, by November, we'll get a permanent price. What? We'll get those those two with permanent yeah. prices. Yeah. Uh, number two, the PS4 will hit or cross 95 million consoles sold. Ooh. That's, they working on PS2. I can see that, though. Number three. Yeah, that. Especially with that games coming, so I can see that. Number three, we will get PS1 Classics on PS4. Finally. About time if they do do what? that. Number five. No, number four, sorry. PS5 will be teased at E3 with a 2019 release date. Nah. Oh, heck nah. 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 I don't see that. Why not do nah. that? Why not do that? It's happening. <laughs> I believe it, though. And I believe it can happen. Number five, Sony will finally admit they made a mistake. And this is the year of the death of PlayStation Now. It's gone. Ooh. Out of here. Oh. They're not killing that. They paid too much. Uh -oh. It's dead. They're going to realize they made a mistake. <laughs> they're going to continue. Nah. Yeah, they're going to die. <laughs> you know how much yeah. money they pay for Gaikai? They're not. Mm -mm. <laughs> they, hey, they can use them servers for another. They can repurpose them. PS Now is out of here, buddy. That is mm -mm. trash. How many mm -mm. people y'all know use that joint? I know a few. And you think that's gonna happen this year? This year, end this year. year. <laughs> I know. You know what though? I at the beginning of the year, I was playing Nino Cooney. I'm like, dang, I do wish that I had a physical copy of this game and not playing stream. I'm just saying. Then when you pause it, uh, this PlayStation now got issues, man. This was real thing in the chat. We got people saying Sony ain't worried about no PS5. Now back at Pat, Sony ain't about that life. Uh, so, you know, I think other ones somebody was talking about uh, the Vita is coming. But if you guys have any predictions, let us know. So I do want to ask the chat. So 2017, as you guys know, as far as games go, was an incredible year for PlayStation. You know, all hating and jokes aside, it was an incredible year. Now, I want to go around the panel and ask you guys, is there any way, shape, or form Sony matches or exceeds what they did with games in 2018? Let's go. Yes. Boy, let's start with Crunk then, since she went on ahead. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I mean, I, I'm hoping that Mama Cedar's uh, <laughs> prediction doesn't come true. Because um, I got to play Detroit when I was at PSX. And, I, yo, it's everything I thought it was going to be. I mean, I'm a I'm a Quantic Dream uh, person. So I, love, I already love their games. Um, and, and actually, the, what's the name of the damn game? Not Beyond Two Souls, but the one before that, that's in my top two games of all last generation. So I am was really looking forward to see how they come back from that. So I think out of all the games that I know that they got coming this year, I think the only one that may not do so well is probably Media, Mo uh, Media Molecules uh, game, Dreams. I still don't know what that game is. <laughs> but... But other, but other, it looks cool. Like I think they're gonna do crazy things with it, like they did with Little Big Planet. But I still don't know exactly what's the angle with that game. I'm not. I've never been a media media molecule type of person. That's just never been. I never rock with them like that. But Little Big Planet was huge for them last generation. So other than that, like Spider Man, <laughs> Spider Man, what Spider Man gonna do? I don't care when they put it out. That game is going to do good. And I love Insomniac. Um, I think God of War is going to do what it's supposed to do. Um, I think people are going to take with the new the new way they're bringing it back for this generation. It's something different. Um, and, of course, like I said, Detroit come human. 
Um, they got that coming. They got what? Um, we're gonna see. Uh, from from what old boy said at uh, uh, PSX, we're gonna see gameplay of The Last of Us Two at E3 this year. So that should make a splash. I'm thinking Spyro is going to do something this year at E3. Um, then we got Nino Kuni 2 coming for the people who love JRPGs. And if I were y'all, like, if y'all like, like, uh, I, I would tell y'all to play that game. Yo, Nino Kuni 2's art style is amazing. That comes out, like, right? we soon, right? Mm-hmm. It's going to get ready to come out. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a, if you're a JRPG fan and if you watch like anime and stuff like that, I think you'll enjoy that game. And then they've made a whole bunch of fixes to it from the first one. Um, it's, it's going to be real good. It's going to be special. They've been throwing up gameplay, like a lot of gameplay of it. Cause you can easily put almost 200 hours into that game if you really try. Um, I, I really like. I really do think that they're gonna outdo what they did last year. And then they got a lot of third party stuff too. And I think Fist of the uh, North Star coming from from, the, uh, from Japan. Um, some a couple of other games I'm missing, but they got a, a pipeline of stuff we haven't heard from. They've been quiet lately. So, like Sony Japan been quiet. Um, we haven't heard anything. Like I said, from Square Enix about Final Fantasy VII, we haven't heard anything from. Um, what was it? The crowdsource game. Um, what's the name of it? The one everybody was like so gung ho about. Can't think of it now. But that game. Um, the only one I'm worried about is Dreams. To be honest with you. Everything else, I think is gonna be. I think we are gonna outdo. It's gonna be one game. In Outer Man, or if it's gonna be God of War, that's gonna outdo what Horizon did last year. Okay. I'm mm. thinking it's gonna be Spider Man. Damn, but Spider Man gonna sell regardless, no matter what Sony do. <laughs> you can't fuck Spider Man up, especially. Wait, what was the question again? Um, it, can, can Sony outdo what they did last year? This year, I believe so. With the way they have the world waiting right now and anticipating these certain games, I, I think so. Yeah, Detroit came and dropped the bombshell, and Hellblade was kind of that underrated gem that kind of did his work too. I feel like between God of War and Spider Man and Detroit, those three are going to do some work. I feel like Dreams, it may release this year, but Dreams is going to be that underrated gem also. Okay. I'm worried about that game, man. I don't know why, but I, 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 I entrust them to be a molecule, but they're just not my types of games. But I can't even front on Little Big Planet. That game, man, that game killed everything. That man. game lasted for a while, a long <laughs> while. And people get creative with these games. And Dreams is just basically being a game developer in a game. So the little demo I have from uh, PSX where they watch, where they made beats and then they made stages and levels and mess with the lights, the sounds, you know, just building platforms and whatnot. I feel like that is going to be something crazy. I want to see feel like build the game inside of that game. Somebody's going to do it. Somebody's going to do it. Somebody's going to take the time to do it and it's going to go crazy. I feel like if Dreams is coming out, then that one game, Concrete Genie, might not come out this year. Oh, that game looked so dope. I feel like one of those, one of the, one of the two is going to be put on the back burner. Okay. Dallas, what you think, man? If you even there. I'm back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I was gone when you asked the question. All right. Uh, and uh, with Sony's, well, well, the PlayStation 4 is 2018 top 2017, which we all know was an amazing year for games oh of course like i see that i feel like um it, it'll be the same or better i feel like that most years but there's too many games i'm anticipating myself like um i know we talked about detroit over and over but i'm a i'm a i'm a fan of quantic dream to an extent like i've been playing that game since uh fahrenheit slash indigo prophecy i've been waiting on a oh, you've been, you've been, you've been that since the beginning. yeah <laughs> A lot of um, people don't even know what Indigo Prophecy is. That's one of the dopest games. Indigo Prophecy is a true gem. Definitely. Oh damn. Major League. What else? Um, no, that was that was my my clone in here uh, from when I got sent to the fifth dimension a minute ago. Um what else? Spider Man now everybody thinks that Spider Man is gonna be the greatest thing since sliced bread, and I Bless absolutely you. hope it is. I absolutely hope it is, but I do. I don't know. I'm cautiously optimistic about it. 
Like I'm not going to – I need to see some more gameplay. In, 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 yo, Insomniac, I trust them. So they don't make bad games. They don't, and that's why – that's the optimism part of my caution. Um, I really think that Spider-Man – I hope that Spider-Man is going to be great, but I haven't seen enough to make me say – anything more than that um but yeah there's it's way too many games god of war is god of war i got is absolutely gonna do exactly what you expect it to do um point is there's way too many games right now that i personally am anticipating i think it's definitely gonna be a a better year than last mama what do you think love well i mean here's the thing i mean we know there's a lot of hype built up towards uh, Sony's AAA and even a lot of their AA and even indie games that are coming exclusive to that platform. So uh, yeah, I think as long as the games hold up to the hype and they uh, they play, uh, well, I say that, but then there have been some games that had the hype and didn't necessarily play as well as I would have liked to do. Y'all know how I felt about Horizon Zero Dawn. I love the game, but it just didn't, it just didn't live up to the playing height as I would have liked it to be, um, to have done. But um, I think so. I, I, I mean, I think Sony has done everything pretty much right this gen. So uh, I, I don't anticipate anything, especially with their portfolio of games that are coming out this year or even those that uh, are going to be announced this year, next year, for the next couple of years. I think Sony just has a slew of awesome games underneath their belt, you know, as long as they live up to the hype. I think now some of them will. Now, see, for me, um, like if they do have a lot of good games coming out this year. And I think uh, one of the things that, that they benefit from is having a bunch of you know, big titles that aren't on Xbox but aren't necessarily exclusive games, right? There, there isn't any type of deal in place that makes them exclusive. Now, we've seen a lot of that heavy last year, you know, with, with the, you got that with the Personas and stuff like that um, that mm-hmm. are exclusive to PlayStation but not because of some type of deal. I think... To my life. Think and gonna, stuff. Yeah, I think what's going to happen this year, a lot of those games that you would have seen before that were PlayStation exclusives, you will see the multiplayer. Like I, I honestly think that that Sega didn't go to Microsoft for nothing. I don't, I don't think they went to Microsoft and were taking pictures of Microsoft Office for nothing. So I think a lot, a lot of those games, like you know, we all know Phil went to Japan to, uh, to you know, make friends. Um, mm-hmm. I, I still do think Sony's going to have mm-hmm. a great year. Um, <clears throat> as far as exceeding 2017, I'm not sure. I do think some of these big games we expect will get delayed. The only thing I am 100% sure on is coming out this year is God of War and Spider-Man. Everything else, I can see being 2019. And then on top of that, like I said, some of the games that, you know, we were never seen on Xbox, I think will also be coming out on the Xbox. Maybe not day one, but at some point throughout the year. So even though I think they will have a fantastic year, a great year, um, I don't think it could top 2017, which was a masterpiece. Uh, so do you think they're gonna, th- those games are going to push them past the 95 million mark? Just just got a war Spider-Man alone? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. What about, what, about, what about third party? What you think they're going to come up with at E3? What do you mean third party? You know they're going to have something else. Oh, here's, the, here's the thing with Sony awesome. this year, right? Because they have yeah. so many third-party deals, they can't advertise everything. Like, a lot of people say, oh, Sony, everybody's going with Sony, but everybody can't go with Sony. Because that means they have to, on the E3 stage, they have to advertise. I mean, Star, the Star Wars game is supposed to be coming out. Call of Duty, uh, the new Destiny expansion. They have to do Red Dead Redemption. So, I mean, at some point, you know what I'm saying? Third-party stuff will have to fly because they can't continue to market everything because at e3 you got to have time for other stuff that's your whole e3 gonna be third party stuff a few because you know they're gonna talk about vr a lot 
what you're gonna do do a bunch of, bunch of, a bunch of third party stuff vr stuff and a little bit of your, of your own stuff no nah, i think third party wise mm -hmm. i think sony will have to slow down because they're gonna shoot themselves in the foot not being able to advertise their own games when they got to advertise all these games that they keep signing on they better slow down because we all know that's what microsoft that. did yeah. last gen Microsoft had everybody's rights, everybody's stuff. And what happened? They slowed down on their own stuff because they had third-party deals through, throughout the roof, left and right third-party deals. I still think they got one more game they're going to do. It's, it's going to be something. I don't know they what it's going to be. You they see, they Ubisoft been teaming up with Xbox a lot lately. Yeah. They've been, uh, yeah. Yeah. They've been teaming up a lot lately because Watch Dogs and uh, what was it, Ghost Recon was on PS4. They had that marketing deal for them. And uh, I don't think it went so well for them. Yeah, Ubisoft and Bethesda seem to be um, Microsoft's go-to third-party. No, no, I heard Ghost Recon actually did better than what they thought. Ghost Recon so really good last year. It did better than what pe people thought it was going to do. Mm -hmm. Didn't Xbox have Rainbow Six Siege? Yeah. I got to find people to play with that. I, I can't play that Microsoft, game by myself. I kind of want Microsoft Me to either. pick and choose. Like, they got Anthem. Which is, I think is dope. I want, I don't want, I want them to focus on. They got to focus, focus on first party. So when E three comes around, we hearing about first party. A lot of first party stuff, or actually actual, if it's a third party game stuff, it's exclusive. I don't want them to have to be bogged down or having to give Activision fifteen minutes for Call of Duty. No, no one cares, right? Uh, I don't want that having to give you know, you know, Rockstar time to show off Red Dead. That's the, that's the that's what happened. That stuff that backfire you when it come E three because these companies said we got marketing deals. I want you to talk about my product. And I ain't gonna lie. Gonna I, gonna want, do that. I want. I uh, want. I need Rockstar to talk about. I Red need Dead. Rockstar. Dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's true. But I'm saying on Sony I, I, on their own terms. I don't want them on Sony stage taking up time. I want to see what Sony. But I don't think exclusively so show them though. I mean, but look though, you got to realize when's the last time you saw them push a Rockstar game at E three. When has Rockstar ever been at E3? Hey man, Rare. You never know. <laughs> I don't. They're not doing it. Because everybody Rockstar don't, swore, everybody Rockstar swore up and down that uh, Red Dead would have been on was going to be on Sony stage last year. Everybody swore it was going to happen. Y'all know, but don't play dumb. I, I kind of thought it, but I'm like, I didn't know because the only time I've ever known Rockstar to be on um on a stage with Sony was when they showed off um GTA Five the the remastered version. And they it's really the quickest trailer like, possible. <laughs> yeah, like Rockstar wasn't even really there. Like they, uh, it was like one of their representatives came on stage and then they left. Like <laughs> they dipped out. Like it wasn't like nothing huge. Rockstar think they too cool to talk to the game industry, man. They it, come you know, through. We didn't even seen like no screenshots. We saw a, a little teaser trailer and that was it. Hey, Demi. Rockstar come through, Demi, announce Demi. something, and that's it. Demi, why so much love for Red Dead? Just, oh, just man. why so much love? Because. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I played Red Dead when it first came out, and it was one of those experiences. Where I was like, "This is an incredible story, great writing, fantastic storytelling." Like going through the motions as John Marston, man, gonna travel between Texas to Mexico and then coming back with that soundtrack playing when it's that somber music and just leading up to what happens in the end. It was it was one of those games. I was like, "Wow." We can get these kind of games, and it blew my mind. Undead Nightmare was amazing too. The DLC was amazing. Yeah, that was fire too. Undead mm -hmm. Nightmare was so fun. Like four player, like you play. I think was it four player co op? Mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like just killing zombies. That shit was yo, mama. I'm telling you, Red Dead. Yeah, I, was, uh, I, I mean, I've played it. But I mean, I jumped on the horse and I rolled around the town a couple of times. I shot up a couple of people and I just kind of got bored with it. I mean, maybe maybe it's possible that I just did not advance further enough in the game and in the story to appreciate all the love that I see for this game. But I just didn't get it. I, I, I was like, it's, okay. it's one of those games that's a slow burn. I'll say that. It is. At the beginning, it's boring. Like, you ain't going to really get into it. You ain't going to know what's going on. you like, yo. They introduce you to characters, and you don't really know like their significance. Like once you get to, uh, I say, past the mansion shootout, that one mission, you're going places. 
Yeah. See, I think my problem is, you know, just run around with a gun. I get bored with that after a while because I want to fire a blast or lightning strike somebody. So I think I just get bored with that type of gameplay after a while. That's probably what my hang up is with it. And Red Dead Online was something that was really dope and different. And I think they're going to, especially since they really been putting their best foot forth with the Grand Theft Auto Online, mm-hmm. Red Dead Online is mm-hmm. on point. Because, like, you can do the whole, like, you know how Westerns are, like, one-on-one, like, mm-hmm. who will pull a gun out first? Them Jones was fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got my butt handed to me a couple of times. Ran into a couple of games. But right. I will oh, say it sounds like you're cute. more into Dragon Age and things of that nature. Uh, what well, I am. That. I am, I'm, and I make no, no, there's no secret that I really am. I, I just like multiple means of gameplay and, and different, mm-hmm. like switching it up. I get, I get bored with just shooting, which is what happened to me with Wolfenstein. And now you, Wolfenstein, too. The story is great, but after a while, I just get tired. It's like, I don't want to creep around and sneak around and, 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 uh, and um, you know, yeah. suck my head around the wall and shoot somebody. After a while, I want to do something different. I want to do something else. I want to be able to lift them up and, and throw and toss somebody or, you know, I like don't know. Fantasy, kind of. I do. Yeah. I do. Sounds like, oh, sounds like Witcher, Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. Mass Effect. You know, I love Mass Effect series. I, I did, but, you know, but oh. I can still. I can appreciate the games for what they what they do, but I just I get bored with that. It's kind of it's kind of those games where you have to come back and be like, oh, I didn't get a chance to appreciate this because I was the same mm-hmm. way with uh, L.A. Noir. I didn't get a chance mm-hmm. to appreciate that when I was younger. Then mm-hmm. I went back. I was like, wow, this is incredible. Mm-hmm. And you know why I liked Uncharted is because there were you know the climbing and then of course the the you know the the world itself was just. In golfing, but then the puzzles too, you know, kind of got me with that. So I don't know. I, to... I, I, I think people like that game more because GTA is a cool, sto- like, but story. But people don't play GTA for no damn story. Red Dead, Cats was playing that game for the story. I play GTA mm-hmm. for the story. I ain't saying I'm saying some people don't like. I like GTA Five story. GTA Four story was trash. But whoa. G- it was. GTA, GTA 4 story is trash. Relax. GTA 5 shoots on 4. Relax. Who is the worst mm. of a char- main character ever in Rockstar's lifespan? GTA 5 oh. story does shit on 4, but 4 was already. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. Run him back. Wow. Wow. So this guy comes out the sixth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but it, it was all right, though. I would say it was that bad, but trash. Nico Belly was so horrible. I'm, I'm, an, I'm gonna need you to relax. I'm, I'm, I'm headed to fan Nico Belly. <laughs> Nico Belly was all right, trash going around with his cut, uh, his uh, cousin playing, playing uh, darts. And going on- <laughs> Like stop it, cause right. Let's go, boy. We have hit our time. Like I said before, if you guys are in the chat. Uh, make sure oh. you drop your predictions down below. We're gonna ease yeah. on down the road, but I do want to get these outros going. We're gonna start with the lady right underneath me, classic oh. gamer gal, Mama Cena. All right. Okay. Well, uh, let me say this. Uh, no, I'm not in my normal uh, podcasting area. So if anybody's wondering why a staircase is behind me and maybe not gamer pick, it's uh, because I had to kind of do some things different. So that's why you see my scare, my staircase. And um, but this was this was good. But um, I have a couple of things I've been working on. Y'all know I've been talking about streaming and upgrading um, uh, my mixer and um, my streaming overlays and all that. So I've been working on that. And so hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I have some things to announce um, with that. But please follow me at Mama C, the 925 on mixer. And um, I appreciate everybody um, supporting me. <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> I need to come up with something else. To say other than appreciate everybody for supporting me. 
And you know what though, for real? One day I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna break out with some, some different terms, y'all. Like, what's up, y'all? What's up, my peeps? My, or um my, <laughs> my, 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 nah. just be you. I can't do that. Oh, right there. I can't <laughs> do that. Oh, okay. Mine, peeps, it's my right. Keep doing your thing. It's my All right. It's my All right. Class. All right. Classy game. Oh, you know what? You know, do your thing. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't be Mama Quita for just one. <laughs> say, say that for Danny's in San Antonio. I can't be. Okay. I right. Y'all can shut me down like that. All right. Oh, that's all right. I don't like right. Mama Quita. She, she, she come out when we need her. <laughs> and on the bottom right. left Mama corner, we got Danny. Corner Girl. <laughs> What's happening, people? Y'all really enjoyed this. Uh, being back with everybody. Um, I appreciate all the love, and y'all know I'd be so tired and whatever because y'all know I started school, so life is really hitting me right now. So it's kind of good to talk about games for a little while. Um, I appreciate everybody for coming through. We had a nice little crowd in here tonight. Everybody was talking and everything. This is this is dope. I like the new setup. Shouts out to Fame for the new setup. Yeah, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it together. Once he get it, get it. Once he get right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is yeah, a test yeah. run. It's I'm a test run. This, uh, I'm feeling this though. Um, I appreciate my boy Demi for falling through. Uh, shouts out to the PlayStation at the bottom up on the Clash Gal. Nick, I miss you, man. I love you. Uh, but y'all follow me at Crunk Girl Seven Eleven on Twitter. I'm mostly on there. And yeah, man, we out. And right above Crunk Girl, we got that man. I guess today. The young man, young scholar, Demi, Demi Guy Reviews. I need you to tell me what new hot indie coming out while you're talking. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Demi Guy Reviews here. Uh, you can go check out my video review of Past Cure on my channel and check out the written review on TickGN.com. The greatest source for all your gaming entertainment and news. Uh, what indie is coming out? You might like Celeste. It's kind of like Super Meat Boy, just less tougher. So... It's fun. It's very fun, actually. Been enjoying that. Also, I am torching, torching Nicodemus Sex in this indie run. Ain't nobody. I got honest. the gas pedal. I got the gas pedal on him, and I'm not letting up. So, Nick, if you're hearing this, just just you ready for that L? Nick you ready only, for that? Nick only plays uh -oh. that frozen that frozen puzzle game and Netflix. We know this to be true. <laughs> <laughs> And right across the check out the channel. Oh, my bad, my bad, Dan. My fault. My fault. See, 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 see. No, nah, but uh, come check out the channel. Come subscribe. I'm always dropping stuff. I have an indie review on the go. Ooh. Uh, not on the go that I'm about to post up in a minute. Just uh, live from work. So, you no, know, just come check that out. Got you. I'm gonna check you out. And right across the hall from me and above Demi, we got that man Dallas. <laughs> What up, what up, what up, man? Look, um, I don't know what's going on. I'm fixing this uh this connection issue I got because we're not doing this this getting sent to a purgatorio thing no more. Um now I'm gonna have to I have a few things coming that I'm not gonna talk about, but I'm working on something super dope. I've been super quiet and haven't had a lot of time. But um my OGs, well one of them know, and the rest of y'all, I'm gonna have to uh enlist y'all's help pretty soon. We're gonna talk about it. Um in the meantime, just Keep it locked, like they say on uh, BET. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Keep it locked. Okay. okay. Thank you guys for rocking with us. As you guys know, in the comment section, no, I'm not in the description, we do have a giveaway up and running for the Sea of Thieves controller and physical copy of the game. That giveaway will be ending fairly soon. And yes, for those who have been following my 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 sadness on Twitter, the controllers did finally come in. So. Thank God. So that giveaway will still be up and going. Go in the comment section down below. Let them know what you guys think about the new format. Uh, this will be temporary. Uh, there's a bunch of changes I'll be making to it. We'll have gameplay going in the background. All of that is in due time. Right now, we're just, we're just working on this. <laughs> Coming up very, uh, the next episode, it will be our Xbox prediction show. Then after that, we will get back. To fighting each other, we're back to debating. Me and me and Ma get back to stomping these PlayStation dudes all up and through these YouTube streets. Yo, fam, fam, I'm not gonna have to pull It's gonna gotta happen for a first time. I'm gonna have to pull up for the Xbox show too. Just, uh, just now. You pull up, pull up, my guy. Pull up, pull up. 
All right, this has been episode 45 of a Double XP podcast. You guys have a great one. Hit that thumbs up button because as Nicodemus says, like lives matter in these YouTube streets. Uh-oh. And we out. Peace. Bye, y'all. Peace. Peace.